Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode from the Multi Tools and Blades channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for your chance to win this brand new Leatherman Free P4. I'll be giving this away to one lucky subscriber in the near future. Okay, let's get on with this review. Today we're going to be having a look at a vintage farmer's knife. This knife is made by Wilhelm Wagner from Zollingen. This is a really good quality farmer's knife. It's got horn handles. I'm not sure if the blade is carbon or stainless. It's either a really good condition carbon or a really bad condition stainless. It's really hard to tell with the age of this knife. It's had quite a hard life. You can see there are a few gaps between the back springs there. The tools do come out quite easily and everything seems to work well sometimes. It can be a little bit temperamental. Considering its age, you just have to be tolerant. In addition to the separation of the layers, part of the horn handle is also missing. But you'll see from the blades when I take them out soon that this knife has actually been used really quite heavily. So it's probably on par with um, how much this knife has been used or misused. Okay, let's have a look at the sacking needle. Very similar in design to the Wenger and the Victorinox. A couple of little decorative lines down the bottom. This tool is 110 millimeters long, so out of all the farmer's knives that I've seen, this is probably the one of the longest ones. The eyelet for the needle is also a little bit bigger than the Wenger that I recently reviewed as well. So it's nice and clean. No signs of any rust or anything. There are quite a few little marks and scratches, so that tells me it's been quite well used, but it is not bent at all, so it's still nice and straight. We take a look at the main blade. We can see heavy signs of use on there. Let's get in a little bit closer. There's not really much wear on the actual blade itself, so that sort of tends to tell me that it's carbon steel. There are quite a few number of scratches just from hard use and just a hard life in general. So the tank stamp has W-I-L-H dot Wagner Zollingen Merschied. Okay, so moving to the second layer, we have a small pruning knife. This is a farmer's knife, so you would obviously need one of those. Something quite interesting is the different sharpening techniques between the main blade and this blade. This smaller blade looks like it's been field sharpened with a small little sharpening rod, whereas the main blade looks like it's been used on a sharpening stone a couple of times. It's a lot more straighter. So opposite the pruning knife, we have a wood saw. There's evidence that this wood saw has been used. A few of the little teeth have been chipped off. There's quite a lot of scrape marks uh, along le the length of it, so you can see that it has actually been used. Like most vintage wood saws, it actually tapers backwards, so it's quite thin on the spine, and quite thick down by the blades. You'll see that on more vintage pocket knives, like this, like old Victorinox's old wingers. You won't see the same level of detail on a more modern multi-tool, like a Leatherman or a Gerber. Or a SOG. For the most part these tools open and close with a nice clean snap but sometimes like this it gets a little bit stuck and you gotta sort of work out what's going on. I mean none of the blades are wobbly or anything so it's not like you know it's it's moved out of alignment but yeah it just takes a little bit of a play. Just gives the knife a little bit of a personality I think. These pocket knives are not really expensive at all. They're relatively unknown and they've got all the qualities of a normal uh, Swiss made knife. You can see that it's got uh, nickel silver bolsters. Um, I'll give you a bit of a close up look of the, that separation of the, the inner lining and the springs. You can see it's not 100% but considering it only cost me the same as a couple of Happy Meals from McDonald's, you know, you really can't complain of what you pay for and what you get. So this is the Wilhelm Wagner farmer's knife. I hope you've enjoyed the video and please leave a comment down below. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Catch you next time.